Hello everyone. Today in the subject of medical microbiology, we are going to study about Neisseria. So, uh, the main objective is to give you a brief introduction about Neisseria and you would be able to understand the nature of the disease and what are the prevention and cure. Right? So, uh, first of all, you must get an uh, introduction and fundamental applications that are essential in prevention and cure of this disease. So, name and origin. Nasseria gonorrhea is named uh, for Albert Nasseri or Albert Nasser, who isolated it uh, as the causative agent of the disease gonorrhea in the year 1878, right? So, Nasseria gonorrhea is named after its uh, discoverer, and it was Albert Nasser, and he significantly isolated the agent in the year 1878. When it comes to the uh, more historical term, what we see, uh, Galen, in the year uh, 130 AD coined the term gonorrhea uh, for the Greek. It has been uh, derived from the uh, old Greek, uh, which means uh, the words are gonos, which means seed, and roi, uh, which means to flow. So it means a disease which causes the seeds from the genitals to flow out, right? Thus, gonorrhea means a flow of seeds, a description referring to the white penile discharge assumed to be semen, semen seen in male infection. So what they are trying to tell you is that uh, if a male is suffering from um, gonorrhea, uh, he must be having a white, a white discharge from the penis and it was earlier noted to be semen. So, what are the three things that we have covered here in this slide? Nasseria gonorrhea was uh, discovered uh, in the year 1878 by Albert Nasser and he isolated the causative agent, the pathogen of the disease successfully. But uh, Galen, uh, in 130 AD, gave the term gonorrhea, which means uh, the flow of seed in Greek, because of the white penal uh, discharge that uh, males used to have who are suffering from this particular disease. Nasseria gonorrhea, also known as gonococcus, uh, in singular terms and uh, gonococci when it comes to in plural term is a species of gram negative diplococci bacteria isolated by Albert Nisser in 1878 and 1879. It causes the sexually transmitted uh, genito urinary infection gonorrhea. So, uh, what is the uh, main thing here? Uh, it is a STD, sexually transmitted disease or se sexually transmitted infection. And uh, it causes genital urinary infection because the genitals and urinary system are simultaneously associated. So, it causes infection in both the systems. Infection, gonorrhea, as well as other forms of uh, gonococcal disease including decimate, uh, uh, disseminated gon gonococcemia, septic arthritis, and gonococcal ophthalmia neonatorum. So it causes several different types of diseases. Once the individual has been infected by this, uh, he or she may have several other difficulties also. It is uh, oxidase positive and aerobic and it survives 
फैगोसाइटोसिस एंड ग्रोज इन साइड न्यूट्रोफिल्स तो इट्स स्पेशलिटी इज दैट इट इज ऑक्सीडेटिव ऑक्सीडेज पॉजिटिव एंड एरोबिक इन नेचर तो इट रिक्वायर्स ऑक्सीजन फॉर ग्रोथ एंड इट सर्वाइव फैगोसाइटोसिस so how does it do that because it grows inside the neutrophils and uh, your wbcs or your immune system is not able to detect it successfully culturing it requires carbon dioxide supplementation and enriched uh, agar or chocolate agar with various uh, anti me biotics it exhibits antigenic variations on through genetic recombinations of its pili and surface proteins that interact with the immune system okay so it also has pili and specialized surface protein that causes the pathogenicity sexually transmitted through vaginal anal or oral sex Uh, uh sexual transmission may be prevented through the use of barrier protection so uh most of the time the use of condoms is always uh, uh advocated or in order to avoid such kinds of uh, infection or transmission of such kind of diseases right so uh, it is most most probably spread through uh sexual transmission if any individual is suffering from it uh through vaginal anal or oral sex uh sexual transmission uh, may be prevented uh, through the use of barrier protection prenatal transmission occurs during the childbirth and may be prevented by antibiotic treatment of the mother before the uh before birth and application of antibiotic eye gel in the eyes of the new born so if the uh, female is suffering from this uh, particular type of disease or gonorrhea and if she delivers a baby and uh, the disease has not been cured yet uh, it is uh, 100% uh, more likely that uh, that the baby or the new born will have that in infection which is or her eye for this area gonorrhea here you can see the structure and uh, the what the various components are arranged in pairs kidney uh, coffee beans shaped okay outer membrane coating the cell wall of bacteria here like uh, pila so here you can see the uh, kidney shaped structure and uh, there are two simultaneous structure and uh, it makes uh, necessary for area very different from others and it also have several uh, small hair like pili after an episode of uh, gonococcal infection infected person do not develop immunity for future infection okay once you once an individual had this infection uh, the individual won't be able to develop any immunity for such infections in future reinfection is possible due to uh necessary gonorrhea's ability to evade the immune system by wearing its surface protein necessary gonorrhea can cause infection of genitals throat and eyes asymptomatic infection is common in males and females so they might be carrying gonorrhea but uh, symptoms uh, might not be visible okay but uh, if they are going to have sex with someone else or they are going to come into contact with someone else he or she may get the infection untreated infection uh, may spread to uh, the rest of the body decimated gonorrhea infection especially the joints um, they, and that condition is known as uh, septic arthritis so a decimated gonorrhea infection septic arthritis is very uh, common in the individuals who are suffering with this disease uh, prior to the infection 
untreated infection in women may cause pelvic inflammatory disease and possible infertility uh, due to the resulting scarring so uh, especially in the case of females if this this particular disease is not treated on time or in time then it may result in permanent infertility also diagnosis is through a culture gram stain on nucleic acid test such as polymerase chain reaction of a urine sample or urethral uh, swab or uh, cervical swab chlamydia co-testing uh, uh, for other STIs is recommended due to high rates of co-infection so if the individual is suffering from gonorrhea it is uh, he or she is also likely to uh, catch uh, some other co-infection like chlamydia so because the immune system is uh, not at all prepared to fight uh, such things and then uh, chlamydia also take advantage of that situation Nessaria species are fastidious. Gram negative foci that require nutrients, uh, nutrient supplementation to grow in laboratory cultures. Nessaria species are facultative, facultatively intracellular, so they live inside the cell and typically appears in pairs, diplococci, resembling the shape of coffee beans. Nasseria is non-spore forming, capable of moving using a uh, twitching motility and an obligate arrow that it requires oxygen to grow. Right? Of 11 species of Nasseria that colonize human, only two are pathogens. So, only two species are pathogens. Here we are only talking about Nasseria gonorrhea. Nasseria gonorrhea uh, is the causative agent of gonorrhea and Nasseria uh, meningitis is one of the cause of bacterial meningitis. So here you can see the uh, uh, 10 uh, micrometer size of Nasseria gonorrhea and it is a fastidious uh, gram negative obligate arrow okay which lives inside the neutrophils and appears in pairs right and uh, does not cause uh, uh, spore formation does not have the ability to call uh, make spores and it is very motile and out of land species only two are uh, known to be pathogenic to humans so in the seria gonorrhea uh, causes sexually transmitted diseases or other septic infections and Nasseria meningitis uh, causes meningitis or bacterial meningitis in humans. Nasseria gonorrhea is usually isolated on uh, Thayer Martin agar or VPN agar in an atmosphere enriched with 3 to 7 percent carbon dioxide. So, although they are oxygen uh, dependent, they also require certain amount of carbon dioxide uh, for their metabolism. Thayer uh, Martin agar is a chocolate agar uh, plated heat, uh, heated blood agar containing nutrients and antimicrobial like vancomycin, cholestin, uh, nestatin and trimethoprim. This agar prepare, uh, preparation facilitates the growth of Nasseria species while inhibiting the growth of a contaminating bacteria and fungi. So uh, this composition is essentially required in order to specify and uh, most specifically uh, only support the growth of Nasseria. And uh, it uh, this combination of antimicrobials uh, inhibits the growth of unwanted material inside the uh, media right so uh, this uh, combination or this recipe particularly only supports the growth of Nasseria gonorrhea and in this image you can uh, readily see the 
uh, image of a neutrophils and uh, necessarily a gonorrhea uh, inside it. So Martin Lewis and New York City agar uh, are other types of selective chocolate agar commonly used for nasaria growth. Nasaria gonorrhea is oxidate, uh, oxidase positive possessing cytochrome C oxidase and catalase positive able to convert hydrogen peroxide to oxygen. So it readily converts uh, hydrogen peroxide into oxygen. So uh, because of the uh, nature that it is catalyst positive. When incubated with carbon carbohydrates, lactose, maltose, sucrose, and glucose, Nasseria gonorrhea will oxidize only the glucose. Microbe anatomy and physiology. So what we see here, we uh, see some points that show that it is gram negative, non-motile, non-spore forming, obligate arrow needs oxygen to grow, which means catalase positive, oxidase positive, and diplococci. Thin peptidoglycan layer is all around the uh, bacteria. And Nasseria gonorrhea gives color in saffron and dye. So, what are sexually transmitted infections? Infections uh, that involve sexual fluids, skin to skin contact during uh, uh, intercourse. Some affect genital organs, uh, for example. Uh, gonorrhea and chlamydia. Others affect the whole body like syphilis, HIV and hepatitis B. Sexual contact uh, 60 days prior to diagnosis uh, evaluated and treated. So uh, when the individual has, uh, has had the infection, several tests are conducted and uh, uh, prior to uh, infection or sexual contact to diagnose after the diagnosis the treatment is carried on so what are uh, different kinds of diseases that are caused by nasseria gonorrhea uh, it causes uh, uh, urethritis and uh, salpingitis uh, Cervicitis, arthritis, conjunctivitis, pharyngitis, uh, proctitis, uh, bacteremia. So these are several different types of disease that are caused because of uh, the Nasseria gonorrhea. And it causes a lot of problems and a lot of issues once the individual has been uh, infected by this particular disease. So, uh, these are the drug combinations that are used uh, for uh, repurposing alternative treatment like uh, monocaprine, myristolic acid, bacteriophage therapy is also used, lactobacillus, uh, cryptus, and IL-12 are used for uh, alternative treatments. Topoisomerase inhibitors are also used. And these are some, some uh, new groups of antibiotics like cell wall synthesis inhibitor, protein synthesis inhibitor are used particularly for the treatment of Nasseria gonorrhea. Because the investigation of uh, se sexual abuse may be initiated on the basis of a laboratory diagnosis of gonorrhea, it is important that only strains of Nasseria gonorrhea to be identified and reported as Nasseria gonorrhea. So, uh, if there is any case of sexual abuse and uh, it has to be confirmed, then Nasseria gonorrhea uh, testing is always preferred. Several Nasseria are, uh, and related species may be misidentified. And Nasseria gonorrhea, unless 
appropriate differential tests are performed. So every time uh, when the identification of nasario gonorrhea uh, is done purposefully, so several different types of tests uh, tests are performed. The main purpose of this uh, and other uh, in this section is to provide information including illustrations of characteristics of nasario gonorrhea that may help uh, and aid in differentiating between nasario gonorrhea and related species. The identification of nasario gonorrhea and uh, and will include not only traditional tests uh, for the identification of this species but also discussion of rapid tests, problem associated with uh, the test and uh, the additional test uh, should be performed to identify a gram negative oxidase positive diplococcal strain. So uh, many different types of uh, tests have been have been designed uh, for the significant identification of Nasseria gonorrhea and its uh, different positive agents. Uh, mainly, it's uh, it only has one agent, but uh, several other tests have been also uh, designed that are very much uh, fastidious in nature. Right? You can immediately get the results, and uh, it may help in identification. And sometimes Nasseria gonorrhea is mistaken with other species because of its uh, similarity, in structural similarity. So that is why uh, many specified additional tests are also done and identify the gram-negative oxidase-positive diplococcal strain of Nasseria gonorrhea. So all these materials, uh, they help a lot, right? Uh, whether it, uh, it is the in, um, investigation part of any sexual abuse case, or any other uh, identification of uh, STI or sexually transmitted infection. So uh, these identification tests are very much beneficial and uh, uh, they help a lot in uh, finding a permanent confirmation of the disease. And it also inculcates a lot of effort in offering the real and effective treatment to the disease. So uh, this is why uh, the tests for Nasseria gonorrhea are much more preferred these days. Because of the serious social and uh, medical legal consequences the, of misdiagnosis, mis, uh, misdiagnosing gonorrhea or misidentifying the strain of Nasseria gonorrhea, the CDC has recommended criteria for reporting diagnosis of gonorrhea. So, what is the uh, main uh, criteria for uh, reporting the diagnosis of gonorrhea? Three levels of diagnosis are identified on the basis of clinical findings or the result of laboratory diagnostic tests. What are those three levels? A definitive diagnosis of gonorrhea must be obtained for uh, medical legal purposes. Right, so definitive diagnosis that it is gonorrhea, gonorrhea or not. A suggestive diagnosis uh, is defined by the presence of a muco, uh, mucopurulent endocervical and urethral exude on physical examination and sexual exposure of a person infected by. Nasseria gonorrhea. So, uh, uh, physical examination and also uh, several other tests are performed in order to confirm the presence of Nasseria gonorrhea. A presumptive uh, diagnosis of gonorrhea is made on the basis of one of the following three criteria a typical uh, gram negative intracellular diplococci on microscopic examination of a smear or urethral acute from men and endocervical secretion from women, uh, growth of a gram-negative oxidase-positive diplococcus uh, from the urethra of men and endocervix of women on 
a selection a selective culture media and demonstration of typical uh, coronial morphology positive oxidase reduction uh, reaction test and typical gram negative morphology detection of necessary gonorrhea by non culture laboratory test uh, such as antigen detection test for example uh, gonozyme uh, about direct specimen uh, nucleic acid probe test like phase second gene probe nucleic acid amplification test at like lcr about the observation of gram negative intracellular diplococci on microscopic examination and endocervical secretions for women must be support, uh, supported by positive results from the test either two or three make a laboratory diagnosis uh, of presumptive necessary gonorrhea survival of gonococci after gonococci invade the uh, trans uh, transit toes the host epithelial cells uh, they land in submucosa where neutrophils are promptly consumed pili and ova proteins on the surface may interfere in interfere with phagocytosis but most gonococci end up in neutrophils the exude uh, from infected individuals may contain neutrophils with ingested gonococci neutrophils release an uh, oxidative burst of reactive oxygen species in their phagosomes to kill the gonococci however a significant fraction of gonococci can rest, uh, resist killing uh, through the action of the of their catalase which breaks down reactive oxygen species and is able to reproduce uh, within the neutrophil phagosome so they resi uh, resist the uh, phagocytosis and within the neutrophils they starts to reproduce also and increase their number stall and uh, sifford showed that bacteria uh, rect a protein which mediates repairs of dna damage plays an important role in gonococcal survival mccord et al have suggested that uh, nasaria gonorrhea may replace dna damage in neutrophils phagosome uh, with dna from neighboring neighboring gonococci so they can uh, readily uh, repair each other and help e each other in the process of repairing if the damage has been done the process uh, which is uh, which uh, res recipient gonococci integrate dna from the neighboring gonococci into genome is called transformation so this very particular procedure uh, where uh, one diplococci is saving the other diplococci is known as transformation genome the genome of several strains of nasaria gonorrhea have been sequenced most of them have uh, 2.1 mb in size and encode about um, 2100 and 2600 protein although most seem to be uh, in lower range for instance nccp 11 uh, 11945 consists of one circular chromosome like encoding uh, 2662 uh, predicted open range frames orf and one plasmid 4153 base pairs encoding 12 predicted orfs the estimated code, uh, coding density over the entire genome is 87% and the average gc content is 52.4% values that are similar to those of strains fa uh, 1090 uh, 10090 and nccp 
11,945 genome encodes 54 tRNAs and 4 copies of 16S, 23S and 5S RNA open. Symptoms of infection with Neisseria gonorrhea differ depending on the site of infection and many infections are asymptomatic and independent of sex. So in, asym uh, in symptomatic men, the primary symptom is a genital urinary infection, is uh, ure uh, urethritis burning with urination or dysuria, increased urge to urinate, a pus like uh, fluent discharge from penis. Discharge may be foul smelling. If untreated, scarring of uh, urethra may result in difficulty in urine. Urinated. Infection may spread from urethra to penis uh, to nearby structures also, including testicles that may uh, cause epididymitis or orchitis uh, or, the, or to the prostate or the prostatitis. Men who have, uh, who have had a gonorrhea infection have significantly increased risk of uh, having prostate cancer. So here in this image, you can see uh, gonorrhea signs and symptoms. Neisseria gonorrhea uh, causes, uh, ab uh, when it comes to females, abdominal pain or pain with uh, intercourse, vaginal discharge and bleeding. Uh, in males, uh, it may cause kidney infections, urinary tract infections, burnish, burning uh, with burning sen sensation with urination, Inflammation of the penile, uh, penile tissue, swollen uh, testicles, discharge from the penis. In symptomatic women, the primary symptom of uh, genitourinary infection are increased vaginal discharge, burning uh, with urination or dysuria, increased urge to urinate, pain with uh, intercourse or mass uh, mastural abnormalities pelvic inflammation uh, decreases uh, disease results if uh, necessary gonorrhea ascends into the pelvic uh, peritoneum via cervix uh, endometrium and fallopian tubes resulting inflammation and scarring of the fallopian tube can lead to infertility and increased risk of uh, act uh, ectopic pregnancy. Pelvic inflammation uh, decrease disease develop in 10 to 20 percent of the females uh, infected with Neisseria gonorrhea. It is important to note that depending on the uh, route of transmission, Neisseria gonorrhea may cause infection of throat, pharyngitis, or infection of anus or rectum, pro, uh, uh, protitis. In a prenatal infection, the primary manifestation in infection of eye, neonatal conjunctivitis, uh, when newborn is exposed to Neisseria gonorrhea in birth canal. Uh, the eye infection can lead to corneal scarring or perforations ultimately resulting in blindness. The infection of newborn is exposed during birth. Conjunctivitis occurs within two to five days uh, after childbirth and is severe. Gonococcal op ophthalmia, uh, neonatorum, once common in newborn, is prevented by ap applications of erythromycin antibiotic gel to the eyes of babies uh, at the birth as a public health measure. Silver nitrate is no longer used in United States. Decimation gonococcal infection can occur. Uh, disseminated uh, gonococcal infection may occur when necessary gonorrhea enters the bloodstream, often spreading to joints and causing a rash. A dermatitis arthritis syndrome results in joint pain, arthritis, tendon inflammation, 
and painless non neuritic uh, non itchy dermatitis disseminated uh, disseminated infection and pelvic inflammatory disease in women tend to begin after menses due to uh, reflux and during menses facilitating spread in rare case uh, disseminated infection uh, may cause infection of the men uh, meninges of brain and spinal cord meningitis or infection of the heart valves endocarditis transmission neseria gonorrhea is transmitted through vaginal oral or anal sex non sexual transmission is uh, unlikely in adult infection it can also be transmitted to the newborn during passage uh, through the birth canal if the mother has uh, untreated genital urinary infection uh given the high rate of asymptomatic infection all pregnant women uh, should be tested for gonorrhea infection however uh, communal bath towels or fabric rectal thermometers and caregivers hands have been implicated as means of transmission in the pediatric settings kissing has also been implicated as theoretical means of transmission in the gay male population based on a new study traditionally the bacterium uh, was thought to move uh, attached uh, to spermatozoa but uh, this hypothesis uh, did not explain female to male transmission of the disease a recent study has suggested that rather than serve on wiggling sperm neseria gonorrhea uh, bacteria use pili to anchor on to proteins in the sperm and move through the uh, coital liquid prevention uh, transmission is reduced by using latex barrier for example uh, condoms and uh, dental dams during sex by limiting uh, sexual uh, partners condom and dental dams uh, sh- uh, should be used and during oral and anal sex as well spermicides vaginal foam uh, and douches are not effective for prevention of transmission so here you can see the petri plate as uh, having the culture of neseria gonorrhea and they are growing with a uh, particular pattern treatment the current uh, treatment recommended by the cdc is a dual antibiotic therapy this includes an injected single dose of uh, uh, a ceft trioxone a third generation cephalosporin along with azithromycin administered orally azithromycin is uh, preferred for additional coverage of gonorrhea Uh, that may resist cephalosporins but susceptible to microlites sexual partners are uh, defined by cdc as sexual contact within uh, the past 60 days should also be notified tested and treated it is important that if symptoms persist after receiving treatment of neseria gonorrhea infection a reevaluation should be pursued So these are the MCQs. All except the following statements are the cultural characteristics of gram-negative diplococci, except uh, growth in aerobic as well as anaerobic condition. They are oxid uh, oxidase positive. And grow on media containing heated blood. Uh, growth is approved by incubation. in the presence of 20 to 25 percent co2 the correct answer is b growth is improved by incubation in the presence of 20 to 25 percent carbon dioxide all of the following 
uh, infections are the clinical manifestations caused by necessarily gonorrhea except uh, a genital gonorrhea in women b pelvic inflammation disease in men c neonatal conjunctivitis or d pharyngitis so uh, the correct answer is pelvic inflammation in men Necessary gonorrhea consists of conjugate plasmid that makes bacteria resistant to which of the following antibiotics? Tetracycline, penicillin, uh, chloroamphicinol, and uh, ketone diazo. The correct answer is tetra tetracycline. All except uh, one are the examples of protein present in the antigenic structure of Neisseria gonorrhea that helps the bacteria to invade a host cell. Pro uh, proteins, RAMP uh, proteins, OPA proteins, or IgM protease. The correct answer is IgM protease. Dash is not antimicrobial drug that is added uh, in the culture media for the isolation of Neisseria gonorrhea. A. Penicillin, B. Vancomycin, C. Uh, Amphotericin, uh, and D. Uh, Cholestin. The correct answer is A. Penicillin. Uh, which statement is true about the nucleic acid amplica amplification test used for direct detection of Neisseria gonorrhea in uh, genital urinary spe specimen? A. This test has low sensitivity uh, and specificity in symptomatic high prevalence population. B. This test has equally sensitive and uh, specificity as Neisseria gonorrhea in uh, symptomatic and high prevalence population. C. This test has high sensitivity and specificity in uh, symptomatic and high prevalence population. D. This test has high sensitivity and low specificity in uh, symptomatic and high prevalence population. The correct answer is C. Uh, this test has a high sensitivity and specificity in symptomatic and high prevalence population. Among the zero growth uh, Neisseria meningitis uh, given, which of these are important uh, associated Meningo, uh, mening, meningococcal infection A, B, C, Y and W135 A, B, C, X, Y uh, W135 C, A, B, C, X, Y and W125 or D, A, B, C X and W135 the correct answer is B A, B, C, X, Y and W135 the meningococcal infections are predominant in which of the following age groups? A. Infants only, B. Children and young adults, C. Adults only, or D. Children and adults. The correct answer is B. Children and young adults. About 10 to 20 percent young children with severe meningococcal uh, meningitis uh, develop a syndrome for Waterhouse Ferguson uh, syndrome, which uh, one of these are the symptomatic characteristics of this syndrome? A. High fever, B. Hemorrhagic uh, rashes, C. Circulatory collapse, or D. Decimated cerebral coagulation. The correct answer is D. Decimated uh, cerebral coagulation. Which of the following antigenic structures are considered as the major virulence factors in pathogenesis of Neisseria meningitis? A. A polysaccharide capsule, B. Pili, B. Foreign, C. Opa, uh, C. Foreign, and D. Opa protein. The correct answer is A. Polysaccharide capsule. These are the references from where we have collected the material. Thank you very much for listening to my lecture.